My friends, if you're over 60, listen carefully. One of the most dangerous things that can silently steal your independence, your strength, and your energy is muscle loss. And the truth is, it starts happening faster than you think. But there is something very simple you can do before bed tonight to help protect your muscles so they don't keep disappearing. I'm Dr. Mandel. Today, I'm gonna to share with you a natural, safe, and effective food you can take at night that will feed your muscles while you sleep, help your body heal, and even protect your bones. This isn't a supplement, this isn't a pill. It's real food and your body will thank you for it. As we grow older, something begins to happen inside the body that most people don't notice until it's already taken away a huge portion of their strength and independence. And that is the process of muscle loss known as sarcopenia, which begins subtly after the age of 50 and accelerates with each passing decade. And while many seniors believe that weakness, slower walking, or constant fatigue are just a normal part of aging, the truth is that these changes are often driven by the silent disappearance of lean muscle tissue, the very tissue that protects our bones, allows us to move freely and keeps our metabolism burning strong. And when this erosion of muscle begins, it sets off a chain reaction of physical decline that touches every single area of health from balance and coordination to energy levels, immunity, and even brain function, because the body without strong muscle is like a house with crumbling beams. It may look fine from the outside, but the foundation is giving way little by little, and sooner or later the collapse comes suddenly and without warning, often in the form of a fall, a fracture, or a period of bed rest that the body cannot bounce back from the way it once did. And this is why sarcopenia is so dangerous. It steals life quietly while we sleep, while we sit, while we go about our daily routines and by the time it becomes obvious, it has already taken years off the future we could have enjoyed. The most shocking truth is that muscle loss does not just affect appearance or strength, it determines survival because after age 50, we lose an average of 1% of muscle mass every year. And although that may sound small, it adds up quickly so that by the time someone reaches 70, they may have lost 20% or more of their original muscle. And when you lose that much muscle, the consequences are devastating. The legs feel heavy and unsteady. The arms struggle to lift simple objects. Standing from a chair becomes an effort. Climbing stairs feels like a mountain and the fear of falling becomes an everyday reality. And what's even worse is that the loss of muscle lowers metabolism which means fat begins to accumulate more easily, blood sugar control becomes weaker, insulin resistance rises, and this opens the door to diabetes, heart disease, and even cognitive decline. Because muscles are not just for movement, they are living, active tissue that communicate with the brain, regulate hormones, and keep the immune system sharp. So when muscle is lost, the entire body begins to unravel from the inside out. Imagine this, every time you sit for hours without movement, every time you skip meals with enough protein, Every time you neglect resistance training or nighttime nourishment, the body has no choice but to take fuel from the muscle, breaking it down to keep vital organs alive. And while this process is natural during short-term stress, it becomes destructive when repeated daily over years. And the cruel part is that most seniors do not feel the damage happening until they notice that their pants are looser around the thighs, their grip is weaker when opening a jar, their stride is shorter when walking across the room and they begin to tire quickly doing tasks that used to feel effortless. And this creeping weakness chips away at confidence, independence, and self-worth, creating a cycle where the fear of falling leads to less activity. Less activity leads to more muscle loss and more muscle loss leads to even greater risk of falling until the spiral of decline feels unstoppable. But the truth is, it is not unstoppable and awareness of this process is the very first step in breaking it. When we talk about aging well, we must understand that muscle is at the very core of longevity because muscle is the engine that drives movement, the armor that protects the skeleton, and the storage bank that the body relies on during times of illness, surgery, or bed rest, and without this reserve, recovery is almost impossible, which is why so many seniors who suffer a hip fracture never regain their former strength because they simply did not have enough muscle reserve to begin with, and that is why the loss of just 1% each year after 50 is far more dangerous than it sounds because it is cumulative and relentless and the older we get, the faster it progresses if nothing is done to slow it and the saddest part is that sarcopenia is not inevitable but millions of people believe it is so they surrender their strength without even fighting and they resign themselves to wheelchairs, walkers or complete dependence on others when so much of this decline could have been delayed or even prevented if only the body was given the right support. This is why the message is so urgent, because when muscle disappears, it is not just about the body becoming weaker, it is about losing freedom, losing the ability to drive, to travel, to cook, to care for oneself. And these losses strike deeply at the human spirit, causing depression, isolation, and a feeling of being a burden. And it all begins with the invisible disappearance of muscle fibers that once kept you strong and vibrant, fibers that now atrophy because they are not being fueled or challenged. 
And the irony is that maintaining muscle requires such simple daily habits, movement, protein, and rest. But without knowledge, seniors let the most precious currency of their health slip away quietly. And this is why every single, like every single person who hears and shares this message has the power to change not only their own life, but the life of someone they love. Because awareness is the spark that ignites action, and action is what preserves independence, energy, and dignity well into the later decades of life. And that is why understanding the truth about sarcopenia and the 1% loss per year is not just science, it is a wake-up call that can determine whether we age in strength or in weakness, whether we live in freedom or in limitation, whether we thrive or merely survive. The answer to slowing muscle loss at night and protecting the body while at rest comes from something so simple and so overlooked that most people never realize how powerful it truly is. And that is the slow digesting protein found in cottage cheese and other casein-rich foods because unlike fast digesting proteins that break down quickly and are burned up in just a couple of hours, casein moves through the digestive system at a much slower pace, releasing amino acids little by little into the bloodstream, which means that as you are sleeping, your muscles are not starving or breaking down, but instead they are being steadily nourished throughout the night. And this one change can make the difference between waking up weaker every morning or waking up stronger. And the science behind it is undeniable because multiple studies have shown that when seniors consume casein protein before bed, their muscle protein synthesis continues at higher levels through the night, effectively turning sleep into a period of repair and growth instead of breakdown and loss. And the beauty of this is that you don't need powders or expensive supplements. You can get this exact slow release effect by simply having half a cup of cottage cheese before bedtime, a food that not only contains casein, but also provides calcium and phosphorus to strengthen the bones that those very muscles are supporting. Think about how the body works during sleep, because while you rest, your cells are busy repairing, rebuilding, and detoxifying, your immune system is fighting off threats, and your brain is consolidating memory and resetting. But one of the most important processes happening is muscle repair, since your muscles accumulate tiny amounts of damage every single day simply from moving, climbing stairs, standing, or even sitting in the wrong position. And when you give your body casein before sleep, you are giving it the raw materials it needs to patch those tears, strengthen those fibers, and even build new ones. So instead of sleep becoming a time of breakdown where muscle tissue is cannibalized for energy, it becomes a time of renewal where muscle tissue is rebuilt and reinforced. And this is especially critical for seniors because once you pass 50, your body becomes less efficient at absorbing and using protein, meaning you need to be more intentional about giving your muscles exactly what they require at exactly the right time. And bedtime is the most strategic window because it covers the longest period where you are fasting the difference between casein protein and something like whey is important to understand because whey protein is excellent right after exercise when you want a rapid spike of amino acids flooding the bloodstream to kickstart recovery, but that spike fades in a couple of hours, leaving the body without fuel for the remainder of the night, whereas casein works like a slow AV drip, supplying a steady trickle of building blocks all night long. And this is why athletes who are much younger than seniors still use casein protein at night to maximize muscle retention. But for seniors, this becomes not just an option, but almost a necessity, because at this stage of life, the battle is not about building huge muscles. It is about preserving the muscle you already have so that you don't lose independence, balance, and energy. And that makes a bowl of cottage cheese or Greek yogurt before bed a form of medicine just as important as any pill in the cabinet. When you look at cottage cheese specifically, it is a food that is low in fat, high in protein, and rich in casein. And it also contains tryptophan, which is an amino acid that helps the body produce serotonin and melatonin, both of which support sleep. So not only are you protecting your muscles, you are also setting yourself up for deeper and more restorative rest. And the calcium inside cottage cheese is another added benefit because calcium plays a direct role in muscle contraction, nerve communication, and bone strength, all of which are critical for seniors. And yet so many people dismiss cottage cheese as an old fashioned food or something bland that doesn't fit their diet. But those who rediscover it find that it is one of the most functional and beneficial foods they could possibly eat at night. And even those who dislike the texture can blend it into smoothies mix it with fruit or flavor it with cinnamon and honey to make it both delicious and powerful. The slow release property of casein is not just a minor detail. It is the central mechanism that prevents catabolism, which is the breakdown of muscle tissue because during long periods of fasting, such as sleep, the body is forced to find energy wherever it can. And if there is no steady supply of amino acids available, the body will turn to muscle protein, stripping it down to provide glucose for the brain and energy for vital organs. And this is the exact process that accelerates sarcopenia in older adults, but by introducing casein before sleep, you stop this process cold. 
because now the bloodstream is continuously supplied with amino acids that the body can use without breaking down its own muscle reserves. And that simple shift changes the entire trajectory of aging from losing muscle silently at night to maintaining and even gradually rebuilding it. The truth is that seniors who adopt this nightly habit consistently see real benefits from waking up with less stiffness, more energy, and greater stability when walking to noticing that their strength improves in daily tasks like lifting groceries, climbing steps, or even standing from a chair. And the reason is simple, because the muscles are no longer starving overnight. They are being cared for in the very hours when the body is most primed for repair. And this is why a bedtime serving of cottage cheese is far more powerful than eating the same portion of protein at breakfast, because timing matters as much as quantity when it comes to muscle preservation. And this one change leverages the natural rhythm of the body's nighttime recovery cycle. Every single like on this message carries the power to remind someone that the fight against muscle loss is not lost, that there is a practical and affordable way to protect the body from decline, and that the solution is not locked inside a bottle of medication, but sitting right in the refrigerator, waiting to be used as fuel for strength and independence. And if more people understood that cast in rich foods before bed are a shield against the devastating spiral of sarcopenia, fewer seniors would end up in hospitals due to falls, fewer would need walkers and canes too early, and more would be able to enjoy the freedom of moving, traveling, and living without constant fear of weakness. And that is why this message must spread because the choice to eat cottage cheese or Greek yogurt before bed may look small, but in the grand picture of life and aging, it is one of the most powerful defenses anyone can build against the silent disappearance of muscle. Building a simple nightly habit may seem almost too easy to make a real difference. But when it comes to preserving muscle and protecting strength as we age, it is often the small consistent rituals that change the course of our health more than anything else. And one of the most effective is the routine of eating just half a cup of cottage cheese, a serving of Greek yogurt, or even a glass of warm milk before going to sleep. Because what this does is ensure that your body has the slow digesting protein and essential nutrients it needs to sustain and repair your muscles throughout the long fasting hours of the night. And while it may sound like a tiny change, the reality is that this habit supplies the amino acids required to keep muscles from breaking down, keeps bones supplied with calcium and phosphorus, and prevents the silent progression of sarcopenia that steals independence year after year. And it works not by overwhelming the body with excess or strain, but by giving it exactly what it needs at exactly the right time in a form that is comforting, familiar and easy to maintain over months and years, which is why it is so powerful for seniors, because the key to longevity is not in short-term extreme efforts, but in steady habits that compound over time. Imagine the difference this one step makes when practiced daily, because when you sit down with that half cup of cottage cheese before bed, you are telling your body that you respect it enough to give it the building blocks it requires to heal. And as you sleep, those nutrients are slowly released into your bloodstream. Your muscles are being fed instead of starved. Your bones are being fortified instead of drained. And your brain is being supported by the amino acids that help regulate neurotransmitters for mood and memory. And when you wake up in the morning, you notice that instead of feeling stiff, groggy, or weak, you feel a bit steadier on your feet, more energized, and ready to move through your day with less effort. And while one night may not show dramatic results, the cumulative effect of hundreds of nights following this same pattern is life changing, because after a year of practicing this habit, you will have dramatically slowed the loss of lean muscle, preserved balance, and given yourself a much better chance of living independently without reliance on constant assistance. This habit is practical because it doesn't require special supplements, complicated recipes or expensive programs. It asks only for foods that most households already keep in the refrigerator. And that means it removes excuses and lowers the barrier to action. Cause anyone can scoop a little cottage cheese into a bowl, drizzle it with honey, sprinkle some cinnamon or add a few berries. And suddenly what was once a bland food becomes a delicious dessert like treat that doubles as a medicine for the muscles or for those who prefer Greek yogurt. It can be blended with banana or oats or even enjoyed plain offering the same slow release protein that muscles need. And for those who find dairy difficult, a casein based shake or simply a glass of warm milk can offer similar benefits, which proves that there is flexibility within this habit, making it accessible to almost everyone, regardless of preference or tolerance. What makes this habit so remarkable is that it aligns with the natural rhythms of the body because nighttime is when growth hormone and repair processes peak and the body is literally begging for raw materials to rebuild. But without this fuel, the body has no choice but to break down its own muscle tissue. And over time, that nightly breakdown adds up to visible weakness, frailty, and fatigue. So the decision to add a single serving of protein, rich food before bed interrupts this destructive cycle and flips it into a cycle of recovery, where instead of waking weaker, you wake stronger. And this process not only benefits muscles, but also protects bones by ensuring they remain dense and supported, which reduces the risk of fractures, a leading cause of loss of independence among seniors. 
And when combined with even light daily movement, such as walking or gentle resistance exercises, this nighttime habit becomes even more effective, magnifying its benefits across the body. The psychological impact of maintaining such a routine should not be underestimated either, because when a person knows they are doing something every night that supports their health, it creates a sense of empowerment and control over aging instead of the feeling that decline is inevitable. And this mental shift is crucial because confidence and optimism feed motivation to stay active, to eat better, and to continue practicing other healthy behaviors. And when seniors feel stronger, they move more. And when they move more, they maintain even more muscle, creating a positive spiral that lifts them higher instead of dragging them down. And it all begins with that small decision at the end of the day to reach for the food that feeds the body while the conscious mind rests. This nightly routine is not just about food. It is about building a ritual of self, care that signals to the mind and body that healing and preservation are priorities. And rituals are powerful because they anchor us, they remind us of our goals, and they keep us consistent when willpower might otherwise fade. So every evening when you prepare that half cup of cottage cheese or yogurt, you are reinforcing a commitment to yourself, a promise to your future self that you will not allow your strength to disappear quietly in the night. And this promise compounds over months and years into a body that stands taller, moves easier, and resists the weight of time more gracefully than one that neglects such simple care. Every single like on this message has the power to encourage someone to begin this habit tonight. Not tomorrow, not next week, but tonight because the earlier you start, the more muscle you preserve, the more energy you protect, and the longer you extend your independence. And each person who takes action becomes living proof that aging does not have to mean weakness, it does not have to mean frailty, and it certainly does not have to mean surrendering to sarcopenia without a fight because a small bowl of cottage cheese or Greek yogurt can become a shield against the slow theft of strength. And if this message reaches enough people, it could save thousands from unnecessary decline, falls, fractures, and dependence. And that is why sharing and embracing this nightly ritual is not just about personal health. It is about spreading hope and showing that sometimes the simplest routines are the most powerful weapons we have against the challenges of aging.